Hi, I'm Jennifer with Resilient Life Therapy, here with a lot of great concepts and tips and ideas to help your life feel better. Um, so today I want to be very real and authentic with you. And I'm, I'm gonna just kind of lay it out there today, right? And I don't know if this is just gonna be a mess or if it will be helpful. So one of the things to know is like, when I make my videos, I don't script anything. I don't pre-plan it. I have an idea I wanna talk about and I know what the concept is. And so I get on, I start the video and I just start talking about the concept. Um, and sometimes probably that goes better than other times. Um, today is going especially rough. Um, usually I do be, you know, usually I just knock it out. Like I just get on and talk. Sometimes I'll have to do a couple of starts. I tell you, I like, I think I'm on my sixth start here and on the third topic. It's just not flowing today, right? And, and it's kind of a mess today and I'm feeling like a mess today and this is making me feel like a bigger mess. Um, and instead of just kind of gifting myself grace and saying, you know what, I was out of town this weekend, didn't sleep well, I'm really tired, we're still kind of in the middle of trying to get our house sorted after a big move, um, I started very, very quickly to go to the bad place. <laughs> you know the place I'm talking about, to the dark place, right? To the place of judgment and self-criticism and to the place of feeling incompetent and stupid. That is my, one of my core things, right? Is feeling stupid. So it, like it quickly spins out to that place, right? I, I was the youngest in my family, had an older, have an older brother and sister. Um, I was the youngest as a child. And so the, the, that core thing about feeling stupid is, is very, um, has a lot of resonance for me and for others out there, others of you out there, it will be that or it'll be something else. We always have sort of our core um, dark belief about ourselves, right? That, that core dark belief that like, well, the truth is I'm stupid or the truth is I'm incompetent or the truth is I'm whatever. There's always a core thing though. So what becomes important is to really recognize what our core thing is, what our core dark belief is, because that will drive us a lot. It's not always a bad thing, right? Like it can, it can motivate us to be successful. Oh, Serena Williams, <laughs> she's a prime example, right? Like, like we can be driven by that. Um, so, so, so it can act in good ways. Um, but man, is it a, is it a hard balance to maintain? Because it quickly spins off into the dark place. So it becomes really important to recognize what your core dark belief is, not because in recognizing it, it's going to magically disappear. It won't because, but, but because in recognizing it, you can, in knowing it, you can recognize it when it shows up. My last video I did, I talked about naming the unnamed. And so I just now realized as I'm talking, this is an extension of that video. It showed up for me today. Like I had the feeling, but I know my core dark belief is that I'm stupid. And everybody out there is gonna see that I'm stupid. What the heck am I doing putting these videos out there? Because sure enough, <laughs> People are looking at these going, but boy, is she stupid. So it just really showed up today. How quickly did it show up? You know, it's rough, you guys. Like we feel raw and vulnerable and, and like I feel kind of like icky that I'm actually saying this. Am I really going to put it out there? I can delete this video. I may. But I think it's important that I don't and that I put it out there because it's authentic and it's real and it's raw. And you have your own dark belief, don't you? Really get familiar with what it is. Know it by name. Know what it looks like. Know what it feels like. Know what it sounds like, what it smells like. Because when you recognize it and it shows up, it's not that it doesn't have resonance, but then you can kind of go like, yeah, that's the thing. Most people don't think I'm stupid. Like, it, it's just the dark belief that's like, 
acting as the siren on the rocks today, calling to me. And I'm having a hard time avoiding the rocks. And some days we don't avoid the rocks. Some days we drive full on into them, <laughs> really full on into them. And that's where it helps to have somebody who loves us in our life, who also knows our rock and can kind of help us pull back, right? From the cliffs. So anyway, look, that's what I've got for you today. I'm kind of a mess, right? I'm, I'm feeling stupid. I'm feeling incompetent. It'll pass. It'll be okay. I already identified it. I'm good. Um, and it motivated me to come make a video. And then maybe one of you people are out there watching this and this is really helpful to you. So that's where I'll go with that today and hope that that's true. Listen, if this is helpful for you, please give it a like because that'll, that'll make me feel better. <laughs> Okay, somebody out there doesn't think I'm stupid. Um, no, give me a like, right? And listen, more importantly, I would really ask you, if this is helpful for you, please share it because it will be helpful for somebody else. And also subscribe. I would really love for you to get my videos when they come out. I try to put them out um, every week on Mondays and, um, you know... <laughs> That, that can happen sometimes and other times that's not going to happen. But, but that's what I've been trying to do. Be pretty consistent about that. Anyway, if you want to find out more about me, look in the description of the video below. It has a link to my website, which is resilientlifetherapy.com. And please check out some of my other videos. All right, guys, have a great day. You know, recognize that, that big dark belief of yours so it doesn't drag you over to the rocks too much, okay? All right, bye.